and welcome to Life Gems. I am your holistic coach, Keisha Christian, and I'm here on to share some Life Gems with you. Now, as you can see in the title, tonight what I'm going to be talking about are herbal remedies. And the herbal remedies um, that I'm going to be talking about tonight are all for supporting your immune health and also for seasonal allergies. Yes, so right now we um, seasonal allergies um, season has begun. And I think it's so important now for me to share information to help or assist with your seasonal allergies and also to um, help with supporting and boosting the immune system. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see, if you look in the description, uh, I am giving away something for free. I'm giving away um, a free ebook. And in the ebook, I will be talking about or will be discussing three herbal remedies that can be used for this time of the year and also to boost your immune system, as mentioned before. So tonight, I'm actually going to go over one of the um, things that I've discussed within the book. And what I wanted to talk about is elderflower. And actually, I have some elderflower here. I'm going to hold it up for you. This is elderflower. And elderflower is great for the immune system. It contains antioxidants. And also, with that, it's great for, um, for expelling um, mucus out of the, um, the lungs. And also, too, it has um, vitamin C in it as well. So this is a source of vitamin C. Now, the elderflower is the flower to the elderberry. So before the, um, when the plant is actually blossoming, you'll see um, little elderflowers come out. Now, this is um, dried. Usually on the, um, the tree itself, the, you'll see that little white flowers come out. And those um, actually um, become berries. So this is actually just as good um, as actually using the, the flower itself. I'm sorry, using the berry itself. So definitely elderflower is really good for this time of the year. Um, I know it, everything that's going on with um, COVID-19 is kind of hard to um, find elderberry. As I went to the herbal shop, I went to more than one herbal shop, I was looking for elderberry, but um, I couldn't find it. But the elderflower was there in abundance because people don't realize you could also use that as well if you cannot use the um, elderberry. One thing of caution, I would caution um, those who actually have um, autoimmune um, diseases to be careful when using um, elderberry. Now, you know, like uh, people who have a chronic illness, chronic illnesses that um that have immune um issues with immune um autoimmune disease definitely want you don't want to um use elderberry and you should also check with your um your doctor or um health um practitioner when taking any of these herbs to see if they counteract with any um medications you may be taking or if um you're pregnant or breastfeeding definitely very very important now as i mentioned i actually have a free gift for you in my book i have here that i'm offering a free ebook if you click the link in the um description you will see that um in this book i'm going to be talking about different herbal remedies that you could actually use for this time of the year. So please check that out. Click the link and um, be sure to download your free ebook. All right, then everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Life Gems. You have a blessed and wonderful evening. Love you. Holistic health.